What's up guys? This is the Brotherman and I am back hot off of restarting my recording of this episode because the game crashed just after I beat these Cherokee. Um, but here we are. We have conquered India and now we are, we are now working to secure uh, the Americas. And that's the initial moves have been made. First attacking the Inuit and now through attacking the Cherokee at Savannah. So this is the force that's arrayed against us and we have some troops coming in. Um, as reinforcements, but because I've already fought this battle and the game crashed to desktop afterwards, I know where they're coming in from. And let me tell you, it's classic Empire. So classic Empire. So they should be off to our right somewhere on the campaign map, which is fair enough. Um, but that is not where they enter the field of battle. So actually, the map is actually the map is a bit different. Huh. The map is different from the last time I played it. So let's take four units. Deploy them like so. Got two units of guns. Let's take four more units to form a front line. I bet this is going to play out differently now because the map's different. So I'm wondering if their entry point will be different because their entry point for me was like here. So let's just form a great big front line. Massively overkill. Especially considering it's only their first unit that actually causes damage. Yep, there they are. This is the unit. <laughs> this is their only good unit. Because it's the only one that's actually intact. So they're making their progress. Because they have to. There's a unit of cavalry and some medicine men coming in, but... <laughs> I don't think anyone's got a third volley in them. They've all expanded all their shots. Expended all their shots. <laughs> Expand their shots. So I'm counter charge my infantry forward. Keep two facing somewhat towards the enemy. General's body got to have a pop at the medicine men. Yeah, the Native American warriors aren't happy. Well, these men actually advance up to here. Switch my guns and that are fighting their main line. Canister shot. All the medicine men are wavering. And they've broken. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the main line. Things aren't going well for the Cherokee. There you go, and the Frontiersmen. Here, yeah, there they are. This is the, the fragments that are coming in now. Poor souls. <laughs> nope. Push my cavalry up on either flank. Advance up my infantry. All my guns to focus on the warrior society. This gun behind the line can continue to snipe at the enemy to the rear. This warrior society unit will... Ooh, shaken. They did not, they didn't collapse. There they go. They're shattered. So run my cavalry up to attack their guns. There we go. 
that's the rearward attack dealt with. Not that it was particularly significant, but needed fixing. Chief's bodyguard is going to try and thread the needle unsuccessfully. Well, my square formations have a thing or two to say to you guys. The cavalry can go knock out that gunner. You men cease fire. You men hold your fire. Both of you charge the warrior society. Because you should clear them out. Especially as they're already wavering with the first charge when the second one comes in. That should knock them out. Well, they've recovered. Now it's all down to that last warrior society unit. Yeah, see, there we go. This is what happened last time. There were a couple of um, units that decided they weren't going to show up until every other unit on the field was destroyed. Now oh, they've all grouped up this time. Last time they were all a bit more spread out. Get over here, cavalry, because this colonial cavalry is going to get chewed up. Send in the support. My light like cavalry is only holding them up. Everyone else, get in, because that cavalry unit will get chewed up. It's just fixing them in position. Here comes the 147th. Oh, a devastating cavalry charge. I think they're going to both be done. <laughs> oh, there's a bow unit back there. I forgot about the bow. Let's speed this time up. Just knock out the bow unit. It's the last unit on the field. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Oh, look at that! Actually, there's a warrior unit. A fresh warrior unit? I wonder where they came from. Let's run my cavalry, or walk my cavalry up towards them. Oh, they just chatted. Good for them. Right decision. So let's see if after... It was literally after this battle I just checked to see what... Uh, I checked to see what... Um, resource I should build instead and then the game just completely crashed so I'm not gonna even check I'm gonna make make it tobacco okay good so now that reinforcing army is completely destroyed Ildefonso Mendez can replenish let's force here Charleston oh, you can push up to the frontier Rafael Rodriguez he is no longer needed so he can push up to near Santa Fe preparing for war against the Pueblo nations um, we've still got this force up here in Agvitoc that's going to take a bit of time to replenish and work out what they're doing plus also try and make Agvitoc grow a bit just to make them relax a bit more although we do have dragoons here in Boston to try and keep them under control So Dragoons and Empire always, well they've, I've never done the tests, but they always seem to be referred to as being the best garrison unit. Well, the best at putting down um, civil unrest, I should say. They crashed into my own fleet. There we go. Yeah, you men combine. There we go. So George has taken. We can't attack either of these regions, but they're it's both in they're both in hand. I need to replace my mouse because it's starting to get into a habit of double clicking things occasionally. Um, okay, keep on 
building. Let's hop back to Spain. Because I, I do have armies that are available for transport. Fonzi, Fonzi Nunez. Get you the all men, get your army embarked and over to the Americas. To be honest, we can probably stand to begin the new Spaniard War next turn. So you're waiting for reinforcements. It's Catalonian troops, it's pretty nice. Here we're waiting for you to replenish. There we go. Yeah, build a couple of little buildings. Just do some checks. Not that I'm particularly bothered about making sure we upgrade everywhere, but. Just do a little check, just to make sure that we are, just to show that we've made the effort, I suppose, more than anything. We're not necessarily looking to squeeze every gold coin out of this campaign now, but it will, you know, you can't, it feels weird to not make the effort at times. Okay, fifth rate's a bit expensive for a garrison, but garrison the board of Marshalschlock. Okay, do key. Don't worry, New Spain. We have plans for you. I think the best thing to do though is to hit N10, because most of the things that we've actually got we've we've already done. That's why all these chaps are actually no, you're Oh no, we must have come fresh off of an N10 phase, my mistake. Well, you are going to be replenishing. Get Mr. Chavez. I mean, his force is a bit bland, but... Get him involved. I may as well start to... I may as well start the war and funnel the troops in as and when we need them. So you can't leave Satara. But that's what your job is meant to be. There we go, so that means this chap can get into Surat, embark the troops. Mr. Reyes can attack the, uh, attack the new Spaniards, get you guys to push in. You're also ready. Let's get our fifth rate over there with another army. So many armies. Oh, Mr. Cardinal. Yes, you can take. You can. Oh, my agents haven't been getting aboard. Get Mr. Cardinal aboard. Good. Keep on doing a bit of upgrading, just so that at the very least, if something kicks off, we've got our um, our civil unrest is quite low. Christian Morales, embark. Yeah, we're definitely ready. Boss, we were ready. We were ready a lot longer than that, but I think. Oh, Mr. Capitello can get is in within range. Mr. Demacado's on the way. Yeah, we are going to be. We are almost done. So let's take six, three. Get him into Pontecherry. Mr. Demacado. Oh, you're not, not in range anymore. Garrison of Mysore. 
So Minori, yeah, you can stay here as well, because your army is not so interesting. Mr. Galve, your army is not so interesting either. This army under Mr. Garinio. Garinio Garino is. Trouble is though, can you leave the city of Calcutta? You can! Good stuff. There we go. Again, just a bit of happiness buildings. I'm not expecting massive problems, but it's generally just safer to assume that something could go wrong and then you never get, or you don't get caught out as regularly. I've got two church schools. No, no, I don't. That's the reason why they're so happy. I've got a good church, a good level. I've got a boarding house, and I'm also getting a church school, which is helping chip away at religious unrest. Good stuff. Oh, Mr. De Soria, can you leave Akbarabad? You can. Can't tax them, though. Not yet. You can get down to the front. I mean, once we start declaring war against the new Spaniards, that's when we're going to lose our trade partner. For good. Um, but should we just begin? I think we should just begin, actually. I've got... Nassau needs to be taken. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look at my... Naval options. Just have a look at what's over here. Nothing. Okay, so it behooves us to declare war, I think. Now they can't kick us out of the port. I'm fairly sure all of these ships have to come with us. Deposit your men off the coast. Oh my god. Demand the surrender of the city? No. Okay. Maintain the siege for now. I didn't realize I had a port exposed. Well, let's see if Bogota is exposed. Not so much. Deposit your men off the coast and advance down to Bogota. Get back to Otto Branda. We don't need a full army to land and take um, Nassau because there's no one there. To be honest, I might actually fight this now. We may as well. Let's begin our offensive with the capture of a significant territory on their frontier. So we've got a good amount of reinforcements coming in, but nothing that's going to cause us that many issues we're not going to rush to try and get in um, I would like that army that's reinforcing to come in and then we can't stop them because they're going to reinforce up to 20 units and I don't think combined they they have that many um, so we can't stop them I'm not going to try and intercept them either I'm going to let them push in let them get to the city and then we will destroy them there okay Artillery is going to have to advance. I mean, <laughs> this is just absolute artillery heaven. Five units that are going to go up front. We're going to group our units together a bit more than we normally do. Oh, for God's sake. It's a stupid click problem. There we go. So you men are going to go up front. You men are going to push the flank. Our cavalry are going to stick around the rear and see where the best place to go is. Oh my god. You men get the general's bodyguard. I mean, look at this. OK, 
Okay, let's bring my... Okay, so I knew the Cherokee were going to come in the way they were. I didn't know the new Spaniards were going to come in the way they were. Howitzers, get up front. Artillery, just unload. Are they sallying? Kind of. Form square, because that's cavalry coming in. <laughs> Getting my cuirassier out on the flank. Let my infantry just gun them down. Uh, where necessary we will attack the enemy. Look at that. This is your relief coming in here. This is your help. Oh, my howitzers are all firing this way, are they? My howitzers all focus on that. Cavalry unit. Let's take my infantry and run them in front of my guns just to prevent them from Sucker punching me. Nope. Square formation. You men charge the 48th. They're trying to make their way to the city. So my infantry should knock out the enemy militia. My general's bodyguard is just kind of waiting. It looks like they're going to funnel into this combat and just make it bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's throw more infantry into it. No fusiliers, stay in square. So my lance unit you know, over here that's not doing anything, plus my general. Get over here. Looks like they are going to try Sally, which is odd. Usually that doesn't happen. Attack their mortars with all of my howitzers. General's bodyguard charge into the back of the colonial cavalry. Because they think they're doing a good job. Fusiliers are broken, understandably. They weren't. They're not melee troops. Get my cuirassier out of this combat. There's a square behind them though, that's not ideal. Let's get my lancers to attack the 22nd light horse. You are firing, correct? Yes you are. You're not really firing. Get my infantry to charge the square. So we break it. Because I don't want to. Okay, I can charge my cuirassier in, because now we've got the square engaged with melee. We can try and break it with my cuirassier. There we go. We're at the core of your square formation. That should be enough to break you. Charge some more cavalry in just to make sure. You drop into square. I mean, my infantry is getting chewed up. All my guns focus on trying to make a way in. When that colonial light cavalry unit is broken. Push all our infantry in. Over here in this back corner, the enemy reinforcements have broken. Which is great to see. 
So everyone here who is not cavalry. Go back to the front, including my general. I don't think they have anyone else coming in. Ooh, only nine colonial line, yes. Kill them, please. You men scale the wall on the left. You men... You men run up and then dump into square. There we go. Ah, they're gonna they're not gonna survive. Well they're going to rout, I should say. So let's run my cavalry up, because they can bust straight through this breach into the centre. But just a big heap of bodies back there. Actually, you guys take the take the gate. Actually, no, those guys those guys will take the gate. These men are just run in ready. Cavalry just run in. these engineers up here. Aha, they know what's coming. It's very Soviet style invasion this is. Take the gate. Cease fire the howitzers. There we go. And the new men. Both these units get over here and run blocker. Regiment may never make it, but my engineers will. Especially if there's militia that are going to chase after the regiment to foot. There we go. You men get over to the centre. Both you men attack the howitzer. There we go. They thought they could throw us a curveball with those reinforcements, but I'm afraid not. Now everyone's going to try and swarm the militia. You men, get up those ladders. The engineers are having a great time against the militia. They're going to be beefed up by another unit of infantry. Oh, <laughs> they don't like me. Oh, okay, it's because you, you had your fire at will on at the same time? You didn't want to charge up the wall, that's odd. The artillery's killing... I'm not sure who that is, because all of my, none of my guns are firing. You! There we go. The militia have broken. Good stuff. So Krakus has been... Not, yeah, Krakus. Krakus has been taken. It must have been that unit then that came in as reinforcements. They might get, they're most likely going to raid my port, but that's that's okay. So you men replenish. I think it's time to end turn. 
But yeah, then we can move on and take Mexico, Antigua, Panama. We're going to finish off the Cherokee, attack the Huron to the north. Yeah, I think bad times are coming for the rest of the Americas. There's more of our... <laughs> so those armies are sitting across the wasteland and never going to get to the right part of the world. Oh, new Spanish forces are falling back. Oh, I forgot the uh, territory they've got in Europe. I'm a dum-dum. Big dum-dum. Yeah, spies popped up. Uh, Europe, 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 New Spain. They refused my surrender. So we are going to do to deal with that. Uh, but fundamentally, I want to deal with these fleet arrives first. So you, Arturo Cruz, you can sail to the north, ready to fight at York Factory. And Damien Perez, you can land your army off of the coast at Rupert's Land to push south. And then this last fleet arrives. With Fonzi Nunez, your first action will be to secure Nassau. Now the ships have crashed into each other. Celia Andrade, I'm fairly sure you were that guy. Yeah, I, I was right. Okay, so you've landed your troops off of the coast. We do some upgrading here. Let's send this army out to attack and destroy Mr. Morales' his little splinter force. We probably could stand to build some ooh, Spanish Free Company. Just to act as a bit of a, um, a random random little stack for killer. You men push on. Ooh. Eh, yeah, just hold your ground, actually. That's okay. Could go on the offensive, but I need, I'm just remembering. I need to focus on this offensive battle. So Mr. Nadal cannot attack Teleco yet until Florencio Ayala attacks and destroys the main garrison here at Chicasa. So let's take them out. And that will be that'll be the Cherokee destroyed. The Pueblo Nation's end is is in hand. These armies that are being replenished may or may not Actually, they might just go to go and attack the Pueblo Nations peoples. Actually, they might not. They might not have time to make it anywhere else. Okay, so let's split up our guns a bit. Put a couple of units per gun. We've got a Catalonia our foot guards. See, this is part of the part of the, the reason why I like having. Um, pairs of units. So when I start getting into this hole, I'm going to put two here and two here. Always ends up rather nicely divided. So then protecting the left flank. Two more units of infantry. Pikes. Oh, pikes on either flank. Spanish Royal Guard in the centre. Let's have a look at the Spanish Free Company. I look pretty good. Like East India Company hats. That's pretty nice. Then we have got some pretty... Ah, oh, there's cut down trees. Got some pretty awesome cavalry choices which combined with our melee units will make our forces quite destructive. I've not unlimbered any of my artillery because I do want to push it up. Because at the minute we've just not got 
It's not a question of visibility, it's just the terrain's rubbish. And it's not that better advancing up like so, but it's still better. Could well come a cropper of... oops. Could well come a cropper of some uh, hidden units, but if we do, we do. It's all good fun. Oh, these are my foot. Oh, I thought these were my halberdier guard. That's why I didn't move them. I'm sorry, 10th foot guards. We've still got to have a proud, proud responsibility of securing the, the guns in the centre. The Spanish Free Company can advance. Conquistador push up. Armed tribesmen. Native Lancers. The General's all the way back here. Unlimba. Asturias Regiment. Looks pretty awesome. And limber with canister shot. Blast this armed tribesman, they're danger close. allow this reckless charge by the lancers for, for reasons of that. So they're shattered. Eh, my left flank is still advancing so we can afford to wait a little bit. The question is though, where's the bulk of their forces hiding? Muskogee tribesmen. Run my hussars forward. More of them are showing themselves. Sweet, sweet artillery fire. Yeah, tribesmen are... Yeah, they're shattered. So there's lots of... Okay, let's bring the Royal Guard into the line. Because it looks like they do have a bit of space for them here. Let's advance. To be honest, just turn my all my foot artillery off. It's not going to be as useful. Most of the units aren't even here. Hello, Warrior Society. Trouble is, though, I always think if, I, if the, well, this is the, part of the the mystique of the native factions is never really knowing where they are. They've got to show themselves sooner or later. Well, that poor Muskogee tribesman unit—they're not going to like this outcome. Yeah, <laughs> there they go. Ooh, 
<laughs> uh, advance. Howitzers are very upset. They're my hussars are very upset, I should say, not my howitzers. So there's a bow unit. There's a chief's bodyguard unit. My pikemen are going to be after them. How it says both the round shot attack these hidden garrison bowmen advance up to the town yeah let my conquistador open up they'll start they'll put, start put some volleys into the into the bowmen. They didn't like that volley one bit. So let's get my conquistador. <laughs> yeah, here's where they're all at. Push through, although this looks like to be a bit of an impassable trench, but that's okay. It's just going to be for my men with their guns. Get my conquistador to chase down the chief's bodyguard. So that unit's already given up. Volley fire. Oh damn, I screwed that up. Yeah, we're being shot at by bows and arrows as well. Free company doing a good job. They are trying to retreat to the rear. Where's my hussars? Aha! Hidden musket men. Ooh, medicine men, actually. Well, I was going to say maybe the move there might be to not attack the medicine men and just shoot them. But I've got my grenadiers in position. Go on, my Catalonians. Engage that small unit of bows. The medicine men are broken. Form the line. Get my hussars to charge the musketmen. My general watching heroically. Oh, that guy he properly skidded along. You charge the warriors head on. General, come after the bowmen. To be honest, everyone's everyone's pretty out of it. Oh, they did not like charging my grenadiers at point blank range. But you might counter charge. Where's my pike, man? They love a good counter charge. Who are they? Medicine men. Get my grenadiers down here towards the medicine men. It's my conquistador doing a real number on the bowmen, but medicine men are uncomfortably 
lethal. Good, so get my Hussars over here rapidly. Ah, oh, they've both broken. Hurrah! No one beats the Conquistadors! Nice. So that's the main effort of the uh, Cherokee defence dealt with. Let's get rid of the gunsmith. Let's build the mine. Let's take Chikasa, build cobbled roads. Uh, I need, really, I need to build a... Actually, do I have any priests in America? Jerusalem, Yerevan, the Middle East, Hidden Bulgaria, Cairo, Salamanca, Sidi, Rake in Texas. That's all I got. Well, not just not just in Texas, but don't really have many. Uh, well, I don't have any priests. These units are advancing up to Mexico. Let's take Mr. Nadal. I mean, to be honest, that the last battle was the real last battle of the Cherokee. That was just mopping up. Upgrade the iron workshop, upgrade the plantation. The spies on the march, get rid of that. Do some good upgrades. Okay, so these have all been done. The fleets have all been done. Do you bring in those armies? You do. Eh, pull back. There's no rush. We could we could have fought that most definitely, but there's no urgent need to rush because we're about to have a massive um, force appear over the horizon. That is quite a good win for us. Can Mr. Mendez leave Savannah immediately? He can! In which case then he can advance up to about here. So once we've taken Texas we can push down into northern Mexico. Let's hit end turn. You know, more troops are getting into the ready positions. I forgot about Copenhagen! Well, I'm going to fight it, because I forgot about this. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's take out the uh, the Danish. So they've got no defences. It's an open field battle. It's going to be open and shut, and it's going to be... That's the end of the Cherokee and the Danish uh, alliance. Completely. Now it's on to the Huron, the Pueblo Nations, and the New Spaniards. My guns deploy on the high ground to the rear, or the higher ground where they can lob round shots over our heads. Let's form a beautiful line to advance towards the enemy. 21st foot guards, it's just sword arm troops which I think are just awesome. They're going to skirmish up the left through the town with the pikes. My Actual skirmish is going to be on the right. Ah, oh, the, the German cuirassier. I don't think we've used these. We haven't used them that much. Just look like cuirassier. Guardia de corps, though. Now there's a that's a cavalry unit you can you can set your watch to. They're going to go on the left as well. General in the centre. Get my Chrissy's forward to hit out the horse grenadier, to knock out the horse grenadier guards. Push out my left flank because they're abandoning it. Let's pick new artillery targets. There's no point getting units out of units out of round shot. You and attack the dragoons. So my horse cuirassier raw regiment. Oh, they dismounted. 
Nice move. You men advance rapidly because the garrison provincial line looks like they're attempting to try and hold us up. Set my guns fire, Will. No key targets. So the 9th Regiment of Foot is going to heroically sacrifice itself. Oh, they're all running. They're all running up now. I'm sure they were running f way too fast a second ago. The ninth have been repelled. Those hussars aren't going to last very long. Uh, I was going to say I don't need to charge my infantry into them. Push up my flank, my right. He's got some engineers to look out for, but I think we're going to be pretty safe in rolling up the enemy from the left flank across the line. To be honest, most of their troops may end up breaking before most things happen. Some of these units are incredibly weak. Yeah, my turret... Corso Terrestre Guerrillas doing a number on the Guard Engineers. Get my cavalry on the move, get my howitzers to shoot anything else. Be careful of the spikes. Good stuff. Let's get some cavalry involved. Let's get my howitzers to engage units like this square back here. My melee troops aren't going to get that much use. Just gotta keep pushing up in the event that they recover and try to attack us once more, but I don't think that's gonna happen realistically. The Prussian line has just crumbled. Well, the engineers have come back. You men cease fire. Get our cavalry to run around these defences. Howitzers engage the engineers. Okay, right. Let's save that last unit for my melee troops alone. Although it looks like they're going to advance towards the enemy anyway. You'll regret that, Denmark. I might just have to smash into them with my cavalry. Just a weak army. It's just a weak army. smash into the infantry if they last long enough hey they are the last unit on the field cease fire the artillery hey the first regiment of militia came back Charging for so, so far. Okay, you men all charge onto the 1st Regiment of Militia Unit instead. This cavalry unit will hold back. 
Everyone else is definitely routed. Yeah. God, they're going to cut through the 8th. Any men they catch. They're gunning down their own men. My god. My god, you had to core off. Slow down. They've given up the lead to the Swiss Pikes. Sword and banner aloft. The wrist strength on this guy must be phenomenal. There you go, the 21st foot guard. Also charging in. Two handing it, some of them. No, oh, they've broken rapidly. Nice. Well, there goes the Danish Empire as well. Boop. Copenhagen is ours. Uh, so you guys all leave, Dragoons. Go in, you guys leave. I mean, we've got, again, we have so many armies, they just aren't going to be necessary. Ooh, we're about to be attacked. Yes, let's be attacked. But looking at the timer, I'm probably going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Uh, where we're going to see an absolute crap ton of uh, Spanish armies land to destroy the new Spanish pretenders. Cheers, everyone.